Google has unveiled a new robotic dog. This thing can run, climb stairs, jog next to its owner, and even stay standing after being kicked. Which is kind of disturbing. They put five years into creating this thing. There were four prototypes, and the deciding factor, if it was all a success, was to kick it. My name is Michael McCrud, talking to you about Don't Kick My Dog. Here for you on IO. If anyone knows what I'm talking about with that reference, let me know down below. The complex robot, technically known as the Legged Squad Support System, which is owned by the laboratory known as Boston Dynamics, took over five years to get to this point, and it is the newest addition in a series of technologically advanced dogs designed for any terrain. This guy here, his name is Spot, but there's an older version, an older brother, known as Cujo, who's already working with the Marines. Cujo takes on the job of carrying supplies, 400 pounds of them, including food and water. Talk about man's best friend. Like 400 pounds, that's a whole lot of food, that's a whole lot of aid. I like having this guy around and yet don't even have to play fetch. It is programmed to follow an operator and detect large terrain objects to move her around them. An officer who has been working closely with Cujo while well, he gave his review. I'd say 70 to 80% of the time, he can get through anything. There are times when it is going to fall over, but most of the time it can self right and get back up on its own. So now we know why they're kicking Spot. This isn't animal cruelty, it's science. They want to figure out how to work out all those kinks. Still seems kind of mean to me. Now the military has been using drones for some time. No risk of life there. You can operate that one from home. Now we have these walkers on the ground. Isn't it funny how science fiction is becoming science reality? Now if you were to pick up Spot or Cujo for personal use, what kind of tricks would you teach it? What would you get up to? How would you put it to use? Would you send it to the store to go get your groceries? Or would you ride the thing to school? Let me know what creative ideas you have in the comments down below. My name is Mike. Michael McCredden, thanks for watching IO. Oh, and if you want more information on this story, as always, there is a link down below.